Lobsters, we know, are a way of life here mm. in New England, but marine conservationists say the delicacy does come at a cost. Yeah, lobster trap lines entangle, they can injure, even kill North Atlantic right whales. Well, in tonight's Eye on Earth, WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff introduces us to one man who thinks he's got a better and safer way to catch lobsters. In order to get over this issue of large whale potentially going extinct, we kind of have to look into other methods. To Working to improve the lives of lobstermen and save sea life on the brink of extinction. The system essentially just gets clipped onto the top of the trap. Cormac Hondras McCarthy is the brains behind Lift Labs, a startup creating a ropeless lobster trap. Traditional trap pot fishing uses vertical ropes, which connect gear on the seafloor to a buoy on the surface. But these lines pose a serious risk to North Atlantic right whales. Less than 340 remaining, uh, under 100 breeding females. It's, you know, an 80 percent of over 80 percent of the population has entanglement scars. Hondros so McCarthy's system kind of could end such entanglements. All of this important work is being done at the 3D Experience Lab at the Dassault System in Waltham, an incubator for young talent like Cormac. Give the same industry level tools and make them accessible to startups who are always short of money but have amazing talent with them. That is a game changer. And that's why it's very important for big corporates like Dassault System to be part of this whole chain, I would say a value chain of giving it back or paying it forward to the startups. The technology being used is old school acoustics with modern day applications. The first step is the fisherman will um, look, at, look at his app on his phone, tablet, um, or and uh, select a pen on the map, which will then um, be linked to the specific um, system on the seafloor so each one has its own serial number. An acoustic signal is sent from the boat to the lead trap, which then sends a signal back confirming its whereabouts. A buoy inflates and pulls up a sequence of traps to the surface. You bring it over to the docking station here, where you then set it in, and the first thing that you'll want to do is deflate the buoy. A potential lifesaver for whales and workflow improvement for lobstermen. The main difference is that they can send that signal when they're coming up to their gear, and so by the time they're there, you know, whether you know, it takes you know, one or two minutes to get there, it's already at the surface. Hondros McCarthy says it's less likely to get lost in a storm or become ghost gear. <laughs> Data gathered from the system could also be used to predict which areas have the most lobsters. Temperature, you know, was was, was warmer over here and the, and the traps you know, were, were more full and whereas these other traps, you know, there might be something going on in that area. And quite possibly the best result, the potential for entanglement areas to reopen. Using this type of gear allows them to fish in those closure areas. It's not clear exactly what the cost of these ropeless lobster traps will be. However, Lift Labs is hoping to keep those lower and subsidies will help defer some of the initial expenses. In the studio, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. WBZ News. Well, if it helps find more lobsters hey. and protects the whales, we're all for it. Slide the chips in. <laughs> yeah.